Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about tuberculosis and its pathophysiology. The tuberculosis disease is airborne infectious disease that mostly affects lung tissue. It can affect other tissues also but mostly it's profound in lung tissue. And its cause to agent is mycobacterium tuberculosis. And for this bacteria the target tissue is lung tissue. And to be precise, the site of infection is the pulmonary alveoli of lungs. The mycobacterium is the strict aerobacteria bacteria and needs oxygen for survival. And it's the reason for its site of infection like in alveoli where gas exchange takes place. And in this infection, the immune response is in the form of cell-mediated immunity, which means antibodies are not involved in here to eradicate the pathogen. Rather, there are different types of immune cells like macrophages and the chemicals secreted by these macrophages are involved in here to eradicate the pathogen. The tuberculosis is separate through ear and the mycobacterium gets entry into lungs and resides in the alveoli of lungs while it starts its primary infection if the immune system fails to eliminate it. There are three case scenarios for mycobacterium in the alveoli. The first one is the elimination. The second one is the retention. And the third one is active infection. In the elimination phase, our immune system completely eliminates the infection. In the retention case, the immune system suppresses the infection. But the bacteria remains viable. And in this case, we say it's latent tuberculosis, which is mostly the asymptomatic tuberculosis. While in the active phase, the mycobacterium evades the immune response and separates the infection in the lung tissue. And at that time, when there is active infection, when there is active separate of infection, we say it's active tuberculosis. Now let's see the pathophysiology of tuberculosis. The first step is the entry of mycobacteria into pulmonary alveoli. And to our defense from pathogens, the immune system has lodged macrophages in alveoli, which we call as alveolar macrophages. When the macrophage detects the presence of pathogens, it captures, it phagocytizes the mycobacterium into a cell through the process called phagocytosis. The vesicle which now encapsulates the mycobacterium tuberculosis is termed as phagosome. So to eradicate the pathogen, the macrophages have lysosome with hydrolytic enzymes. And under normal immune response, the lysosome fuses with phagosome to form phagolysosome, in which the pathogen is dissolved with acids and finally gets eliminated. But here, in case of tuberculosis, the phagosome is now formed when pathogen is mycobacterium tuberculosis. So in this case, the fusion is inhibited and the mycobacterium tuberculosis remains protected inside the macrophage without being detected by immune system like a Trojan horse. So ultimately, the bacteria replicates inside the macrophages and it is the primary infection at that time. Three weeks after primary infection, the cell-mediated immunity kicks in and immune cells surround the site of infection like this and forms granuloma. And with the formation of granuloma, there is necrosis of tissue at the site of infection and at that time it is termed as gone focus. And when gone focus involves nearby lymph nodes to the infection, we call it a gone complex. Then gradually there is fibrosis and calcification of gone complex and it's termed as rank complex at this time. So at this stage either there is complete elimination of tuberculosis or it goes into quiescent state that's the dormancy what we call as latent tuberculosis. So this is all about tuberculosis. In the next part of the video we'll discuss how it hacks the immune system and how it remains undetectable by our immune system. It's all mechanism will be discussed in next part. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.